Okay, guys, by special request, this is the throttle body injection 194 cut for 50. 15 cut for 50. And then we're going to go from right from this, we're going to bolt on my three different intakes and flow four different intake runners. And we'll see whether the work I did, oh God, 20 something years ago is was worth its weight or not. And it's kind of interesting because a lot of it is done way before I had any idea about a flow bench. Now, that didn't mean I didn't want a flow bench. I did. I just wasn't able to. I wasn't able to get a flow bench until I lost it all. You know how it goes. In any case, our liquid looks a little bit different. I really think it took a step back in the bowl. I think it took a bit of a step back on the chamber, but I think it took a step up as far as in the bore. You guys give me your input on that. Okay, the valve got a 50. It got a different angle back cut. Got a lot of gook right on the valve there. Goes around quite a bit of the valve though. And you can see at the very, at the very top, you can see the old back cut. No big deal, really. Now, I should emphasize, nothing's been changed but the valve angle. And I did do some work in the bowl. I should probably measure the bowl ratio because it's a 50. It really wants a bigger bowl ratio than a 45. Let's measure that up for you guys. Okay, you can see my quick math on that. You got an 89.8% throat, which brings it up almost exactly... 1% uh, from where it was with the 45. Okay, sixth, sixth cut was the one where I had to fire wifey. Seventh cut, I had to hire her back this morning because she made me some sheets. What are you going to do? The severance package was not good, so I might as well just hire her back. Had we do? Plus, 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 minus, minus, plus, 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 plus. I'm going to take it as a win, guys. I had a feeling the 50 would be a win. And it, uh, it is, uh, you know, not bad. 186 at 300, not great, but not bad. At 500, 243 and change. Not really a big difference there. It actually tops out a lot better, but we're not going to be up there. The rest of the gains are not huge gains. I mean, it's funny, right? The 50 is supposed to knock back the low lift flow. It never seems to happen for me that way. Not really sure why. Seems I always gain on low lift flow with a 50. In any case, how do we do as far as our swirl? We got a plus, minus, minus, plus, 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 minus, plus, minus, minus, plus. Remember, I changed the uh, retainers. I couldn't get a real high lift on it. At 500, 26, 47. Awesome. That'll work. Okay, as far as air speeds, last cut, this cut, notice how much happier the pinch is, right? It's not really moving that much more air at 500, but our speeds are more even. How'd we do as far as our roof? Well, 169 stayed exactly the same. We gained a little bit on the cylinder wall. We gained more, more speed on the ramp, though. And our short side, our short side speeds went up all the way across. Okay, we're definitely putting more air across the short side. More, sh more air across the short side due to the deeper uh, valve angle. Okay, guys, let's take a look at our exhaust with a 50. That's a 50, no back cut. But if you take a look at the valve, you can still see a bit of the old 45 all the way up top. I didn't want to... Uh, shrink the valve down that much it's completely stock valve wow i wouldn't have called that on a bet all losers all the way down now i only did i did an inch and five eighth pipe here i should have watched what i was doing okay i used an inch and seven eighths pipe here and it's still less ouch took a beating with the, the deeper valve job now that doesn't mean i wouldn't be able to fix that but not great the way it, way it is. It really likes the 45 way better. 
Okay, guys, might be screaming inside, but how unusual, right? Take a look at what happened to our air speeds. All right, these are our 45 air speeds. Really not bad from side to side, not completely dead. Our 50 air speeds, ouch, all minuses, dead, dead, almost dead. Wow. Unbelievable. Obviously, you have to redesign the port quite a bit for a 50. All right. So, what did we learn? If you're going to do a 50 on the exhaust, you better do your homework because uh, let's, take, let's take a quick look at our throat ratio on that. And uh, maybe we'll know more. All right, guys. Obviously, my mistake. I thought that throat was way bigger than that, but it's not. It's really tight at 84.1%. So what I will do is I will just take that port and I'll give it some throat and uh, I bet it'll recover, you know, it'll be at least be closer to these. These are, these are actually quite good numbers for a 1.5. I mean, 190 at 600, that's really not bad for a, a 1.5 valve. And remember, that's the port with the hole in the back. Okay, just a different view to see our liquid. I do think it took a, a bit of a step back on the 50, but if I really wanted to work on it, I probably could. We had a question, you know, how do you direct the liquid? Well, part of the way you would direct it would be with this ramp, okay? This ramp is going to allow more air this way. It's going to push our liquid flow this way so we don't drench our plug as much, right? What else can we do? Well, we can change the whole profile of the bowl. That's going to change where the liquid's going to go. Our short side is usually what I use to direct uh, not only flow, but uh, airspeed. And you can change your liquid flow with it if you know what you're doing. Now, what can you do with the short side? Well, you've got area, you've got layback, you've got throat ratio, you've got short side height. You're able to use all of those to change the direction of the air. Somebody made fun of, of me. Uh, one of DV's rules is, you know, let the air go the way it wants to go. I just don't listen. I'm a bad student. I've always been a bad student. So I take the knowledge of DV and I, I see what I can do. And I figured out that by changing those parameters, I can change the speed of the short side radius air. I can change how much flow goes across the short side and uh, make a break a port, more or less, really. All right, guys. My daughter Carla is doing a ton of work to the YouTube. She's doing all kinds of things to it. And uh, hopefully it'll, it'll make it better. Hopefully it'll bring some cash in. Wifey's killing me. And... Uh, that, that and a couple of financial reversals we've had lately, it's been ugly. So we're, uh, we're making some adjustments around here. She's not happy at all. Not happy one bit. All right, guys. Thanks for hanging out. Have a good night.